I'm Kevin, and I'm here with my daughter Haley at the US Open, where it's a sunny but windy day at the Olympic Club in San Francisco. Thanks, Dad. And speaking of the US Open, did you know that the first US Open was played on October 4th, 1895, on a nine-hole course at the Newport Country Club in Rhode Island? Wow, really? In 1895? Yeah and only 10 professionals and one amateur entered this tournament. It was played in a single day. The winner was 21-year-old Englishman named Horace Rollin, and he received $150 cash plus a $50 gold medal. Only $150 and a medal. That's crazy compared to the $1.4 million paycheck that last year's winner, Roy McElroy, received. Well, I didn't know what last year's winner made, but I do know that Chevron and the USGA will, co will contribute $10,000 for every eagle scored during the US Open to help fund golf-related educational programs. Wow, that's awesome. And a big thanks to Chevron, the USGA, and their sponsors for, for providing this amazing opportunity. Now let's get back on the course and see what's happening. Thanks guys. Hi everyone, I'm Barbara and I'm here on the Olympic Club golf course at the US Open and it's a beautiful sunny day. I'm currently on the green watching the golfers play and the competition is fierce. The first US Open was played in 1895 with just 11 players and the winner won only $150 and the medal. Now a message from our sponsors. Most people see a ball blasting out of a bunker. I see scatter theories. I see volcanic basalt, thermal maturation, and evaporates. I see basin modeling and geodestiny. And the cool thing is, I see all of this because of a ball blasting out of a bunker. Partnering with the USGA at the US Open is one way we help educate kids in science, technology, engineering, and math.